Baseline survey by CMFR Institute indicated that the tribals were living under below poverty line conditions. Most of them were engaged as laborers for diving, welding and other menial jobs and were struggling to meet their daily livelihood and food. The scientists and technical staff of Veraval Research Center arranged their training in all aspects of sea farming, Karwar and Mandapam centers. The Siddhi tribals developed skills in fabrication of galvanized iron cages, mooring, net handling, feeding and other farm management practices. Initially, GI frames were made. The frame joints were welded, frame coated with FRP and painted. Proper meshed nets were tied by the team. All the mooring materials were fabricated and assembled. Gabion boxes were filled with stones and tied. These were placed in the chosen sites and cages were installed. A sea cage farm was established off Somnad coast in the Arabian Sea for their benefit under the TSP with their active participation. In this farm, 20 cages of 5 meters diameter were installed at about 7 meters depth facing the Somnath temple. Tribal farmers were also trained in the collection, conditioning and transporting of lobster and fish seeds for stalking in cages. Initially, they collected lobster seeds which were discarded as undersized ones by the trawlers. These lobster seeds otherwise will die if they are not collected in live conditions within a short time. The lobster seeds thus collected were transported in live condition to the sea farm site. This seed collection activity in turn helps to conserve the resource from destruction, provides livelihood for fisher folks and also aids in increasing seafood production. The seeds weighed about 50 to 80 grams and these were stocked in 17 cages from December 2012 up till January 2013. In the sea cage farm, three cages were stocked with cobia fish. Feed was prepared and the stocked lobster and cobia seeds were fed properly by the tribal team members. Proper cage cleaning and maintenance of farm was accomplished. After about 110 days, the lobster crop was ready for harvest and sale as a high-value seafood item.